Uh, what's up, everybody? Um, the Pistons. They uh, they beat the Milwaukee Bucks today. It's kind of it's kind of like the games that the Pistons will win. I mean, the Bucks been struggling a little bit. I mean, they lost a couple tough games, and they coming off a back to back. But you know, the Pistons always they always win games like this. So, I mean. I will say I'm surprised because I didn't even think we were going to beat the Bucks. The like, cause we were playing so bad. I didn't think we were going to beat anybody. We were just playing terrible. But uh, we did. We did to Giannis what the Dallas Mavericks did to LeBron James in the finals. If you want to say LeBron choked, I won't argue that. But it was deeper than that <clears throat> in that finals because even Mark Cuban was talking about it after the finals, like. They're like, we guarded him a specific way. The reason he played that way is because of what we were doing. And, you know, Skip Bay was like, no, 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 he's choking, he's choking, whatever. You want to say that? Fine. But what they, what Miami game, not Miami, what Dallas game plan was, was to clog the lane and make LeBron shoot jump shots. And since he can't really shoot jump shots, <clears throat> he, he was breaking all the shots and it, like, broke his confidence. Same thing happened to Giannis today. We, we clogged the lane. Stan, Stanley was playing great defense on Giannis, and he kind of broke his confidence. And plus, he probably was tired too, so that comes into it. Now, I, I did say Giannis will be the best player in the league someday. Anthony Davis has been putting up some crazy numbers, so he so he had his heels. But I still I still am gonna go with that. I mean, Giannis is young; he's not even in his prime yet. Um, but um, we played great defense on Giannis. But you know, the reason that this win doesn't feel this is great to get a win, man. I'm not going, you know what? I'm not going to belittle this win at all. It's great to get a win. But Milwaukee missed a lot of open shots. And it's it's a make, it's a make or miss league, man. It's a make or miss league. It's a make or miss league like when the Cavs lose to a bad team or Golden State loses to a bad team or OKC or something, it's who makes the most shots, man. It, it like the one thing about the NBA that will always be true, it's a make or miss league. You make your shots, anybody can be anybody on a given night if they making shots. Um, And the Bucks were missing tons of wide open shots. And I just feel like this game, the Pistons were hungry. They really wanted to win. You could see it in Blake diving on the floor to get the, bo- the, uh, the, the ball in and Reggie Bullock doing the same. You could tell we really wanted to win this game. I mean, we was hungry for a win. You saw the players on the bench laughing and happy, like, finally, man, we got to win, man. We can still do this. I, I, I'm i hoping this win gave them uh, some confidence because that's what they need. They go up against the Magic. And uh, the Magic, as I told some of the DVE members, you know, uh, we was on Man Be Saying, I was talking. I told them, man, the Magic, I don't care what their record tell you. The Magic playing everybody tough. I mean, every single team they played, it, it's a close game. Like, they play they play people tough. And sadly, I can see them blowing us out by 20. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it did, I'm not going to be surprised in the slightest because the Magic, they play, they play teams very fucking tough. But, uh. I was talking to Dante and uh, Man Beast earlier today, and I was telling him that Dwight Bike should be starting over uh over Ish Smith. And then lo and behold, Dwight Bikes comes in off the bench, basically takes Ish's minutes and plays great. To me, he's just a he's just a better player than Ish Smith. And uh, Kay Felder is also a better player than Ish Smith. I would love to see some Kay Felder over like uh, Langston Galloway, you know. But uh, Stanley Johnson came off the bench. I didn't like him coming off the bench because he's not a bench player. His defense is just too good. I mean, he's having offensive struggles, but he's young. He still needs to develop his offensive game. But we saw, you know, he can make some shots sometimes. But we saw, you know, he can get to the hole. He's 6'8", 250, just like what Skip Bayless says to LeBron. But LeBron, LeBron can get to the basket whenever he wants. Well, Stanley Johnson can get to the basket whenever he wants. Doesn't have, like, LeBron's moves, but who knows? He could, he could be good. Hey, man, we don't know, bro. Hey, man, for all we know, if Stanley develops his offensive game, like, he could be as good as LeBron. I'm serious because he can pass. He can dribble. Only thing you don't have is the offensive game, and then he'll be a defender, too. Like, LeBron wouldn't as good a defender. 
Hey, man, for all we know, that's why I said I'm not giving up on Stanley because Stanley could end up being Kawhi Leonard, man. Kawhi Leonard, first three seasons, he, he wasn't that good, bro, offensively. And it took him to his fifth season after training with Kobe to get offensive. Now he's a phenom, man. Like, Stanley, get that that going, man. It's But, you know, sometimes when he's scoring two points in a game and he's playing tough, it's just hard to watch and it makes you angry. It definitely makes me angry. But, you know, I believe in Stanley Johnson, man. He definitely was the best player on our team tonight. Um, Drummond did his thing. Eric Moreland had the best game of his career. Our bench finally showed up, mainly because Stanley Johnson was on the bench. But our bench showed up. Um, Blake Griffin did not shoot well tonight. He hasn't really been shooting well here. And that's basically because we don't have a point guard. And Blake Griffin, you know, he's used to playing with great point guard. He's used to playing, he used to having good guard play. And our guard play is so terrible. It's affecting him. Like, I see it. He's not in rhythm. Like, it just don't look like he's in rhythm at all. But the thing that I love about Blake Griffin so much, if he ain't scoring, he impacts the game in other ways, man. He led the team in assists tonight, seven assists. I mean, he would have had a triple-double if he played the full game, but he didn't need to play the full game because we, we blew them out. But uh, he definitely struggling shooting. And just like uh, everything King said in his in his video, Blake was doing just fine in, uh, in the Clippers uniform, shooting too. Come here, all of a sudden, everything is messed up. And to me, that's on the coaching, and that's just because our guard play is pretty bad. I guarantee you when Reggie Jackson comes back, Blake, all the Blake Griffin shooting percentages will go up because he'll have a real point guard. And I'm not saying like Reggie Jackson is some amazing point guard, but he's good enough, you know, good enough to help Blake at least. Um, it's a good win for us. I hope this build, like now, we better beat fucking Orlando. We lose to Orlando, dog. I'm going to be upset. We better beat them, dog. Seriously. Um, But Reggie Jackson, they say he might not come back to March 13. I don't know how long this team can last. If we, Because our schedules come, upcoming schedules coming coming up is going to be tough. We're going on a road trip. We got the Toronto Raptors and the Cavs soon. Like, we got Miami. They not just going to lay down and we in Miami. So, I mean, it's going to be tough, bro. But I, I just don't see Blake Griffin letting us not make the playoffs, man, in the East, man. I still believe in that. I still believe in star power. But Reggie needs to hurry up and come back because I don't know how long we can last without, without our point guard playing being so below, below, like in the basement. But the white bikes needs to be starting over ish. Overall, a uh, good game. You know, Drummond did his thing. You know, Reggie Bullock definitely did his thing. Had a lot of points. Everybody did their thing, and it, it was a good team win. But Minnesota, I mean, not Minnesota, Milwaukee was on the back to back, and they missed a lot of open shots. So, you know. But uh, it's 3 1 3 J Mo, man. Have a good day, everybody. Even though it's nighttime, man, it's late as hell. But, you know, Pistons won, man. I'm happy I can make a video about them. I really. This Magic game is worrying me a bit. I'm telling y'all right now. So, we get our ass whooped. I told y'all. Like, man, I think we should win the game, but if we get if the confidence is real, but it's wearing me a little bit because those are the kind of games we lose. But all right, man, I'm out.